so our guest chef, Brian McCann, is here with us. You have a suggestion of an in-seasonal fish. Yes. What are we talking about? We're going to use sea bass today. Sea bass? Why sea bass? Sea bass. Um, it's in season at the moment. It's great value, but people get it free at cooking at home with sea bass. Mm. It takes five minutes to cook. It doesn't need to be overcooked. Great flavour. Also seasonal garnishes with it at the moment. We're going to do some nice uh, purple sprouting broccoli. Nice. New potatoes. Raw fennel for a bit of texture. Mixed leaves and gremolata. Gremolata. You're going to explain gremolata. all of yes. this and what it means to me. First of all, I'll start the fish cooking, okay? okay. So non-stick pan. Most people have this in their house now. Yeah. Mine used to be non-stick. You've washed it? You've well, washed it or, the, or got the, the, um, uh, scraper. the metal scraper. Okay. And it's destroyed now. But usually sea bass, you'd, you'd get it in a restaurant. Yes, you're, but you're right about your, people not cooking it. You're fishmonger, you know. Um, and he, he, will, he will pin... Yeah, look, well, trust your fishmonger first and foremost. It, should be, it shouldn't smell the fish. It should be nice and clean, firm, the taste, or the, the press. Season it lightly. And the fishmonger has taken out all the pin bones out, so there's no bones in it. That's another problem with fish. Mm. People think, oh, bones, bones. All the scales have been done and just sliced, okay? Well, what did you say that all the scales have been done? Yeah, they've, they've been removed. So you shouldn't get any scales on fish out of it. So oh, the fish, extra yes, scales, yeah, okay. Yeah, You've yeah. still got the skin on it, though. Yes, but no scales. Yeah. So, non-stick pan. And that's a cold pan, and what we'll do is bring it up the, the heat. If you put it in the hot pan, the fish contracts, and that's why I've sliced it, to stop that. I never knew that. So we'll bring it up nice and hard, and then we'll control it with some butter. And is that the same for all fish, or just sea no. bass? No, sea bass and salmon. Other fish you put in a hot pan and hold it down, and it'll, it, you hear it almost click, and then you get a beautiful crisp caramelization. Right, you hear the si like the yep. clicky sizzle. Yeah, yeah. Put on sea bass and salmon, sea put bass. it into a cold pan. Well, lukewarm, yep. You lukewarm. can see it's starting to contract now. So we're going to get a garnish organised. Um, which is the new potatoes. Sorry. First of all, I'll make the gremolata. And gremolata okay. was originally um, for a braised dish, like Italian braised dishes, um, ossobuco or whatever. So you've got a heavy dish that's been cooked for a few hours, and this sort of way gives it a real cleanness, fresh, you know. So it's an Italian, what does it go with usually? Braised dishes, like also Braised, yeah, braised, braised like a, yeah. So all it is is lemon zest, lemon zest, yeah. some flatly parsley. Some raw garlic, mm -hmm. okay. Very easy. some sea nice salt. salt and pepper, and extra virgin olive oil. Yeah, I'll take and that out of the way yeah. so everybody can see. And just slowly add it. That looks and this, nice. this is beautiful, like a fresh pasta with some of this granulata, a bit of chili. You know. So just pasta that on its own. No problem. Pasta. Bit of parmesan if you want. Nice. And all you want is just a bit of cleanness, you know, you've got a nice bit of garlic, you've got some flatly parsley. And, and the lemon. lemon just gives it a bit of a zing. You nearly put that back in. You didn't quite. Didn't use it. <laughs> so you can see the face now. Um, starting to cook. It's coming up the outside of it. You want to bring the temperature up. You want a nice caramelisation. Okay. okay. That's what people get uh, intimidated about. So when it starts sizzling, then bring yeah. the temperature up. Yeah, yeah. And you can see now it's completely flat. It's not uh, warped. Okay. Okay. So what we're going to do, touch of oil now and heat. We've got a few new, new potatoes here. You're going to have everybody in on Valentine's night? Everybody's the in. the restaurant? Everybody's always in. Bar chefs. Chefs always have to work, unfortunately. What do you have, Valentine's night the next night or something? The night before or the, the Sunday, or, you know. It's not just Valentine's, you know. Well, you just have couples in, literally. Well, there's, th this year we've got a party of ten and a party of eight, which is brilliant because... Define Valentine's <laughs> Day! Yeah. Everybody right. sort of way just sits and looks at each other on Valentine's, you know, there's not a, a great atmosphere in most restaurants. All the couples? All the couples, you know. What's this lady wearing, you know? So, so more interested than everybody else yeah. with a partner they've been with so, for 20 years. Yeah. So <laughs> what you want is a couple of nice parties, bring the atmosphere up and get, get people enjoying themselves. Do you know, it's, 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 I don't know what the stats are, but more couples have arguments on Valentine's Day. <laughs> I will believe it. Probably, possibly because your expectations, pressure. the pressure, yeah. your expectations are high. You didn't get the flowers, you didn't get the 200 euro <laughs> roses. Okay, what are we doing? That's fennel. So fennel, I'm, I'm just going to put the purple sprout and broccoli in. So you get a nice anise taste of that, perno. Okay. That's really nice. I, do you know, I had, I mean, which is awful, working with chefs every day. I had fennel in the house, and I looked up every cookbook and didn't know what to do with it. Didn't know how to well, cook it. Well, this is a fantastic way of doing it. I oh, didn't know you could have it raw. Raw, so you just slice texture, it. Slice on a mandolin. Okay, touch of olive oil. Off. Went off. Really? <laughs> so I left it too long. Okay, so that, that is it. You could add some parsley. Oh, touch that's of, it. Touch of granulata. 
You've got hot, hot veg there, your broccoli. Okay, you can see the fish now because we've increased the temperature. It's starting to caramelize on the outside. And you can see it's at the bottom part's yeah. cooked. So you do 90% of the cooking on the skin side. Right. Touch the butter, nice caramelization, turn over, and that should be cooked, okay? So you'd put butter in at this stage? Touch longer. Right. Because it will, it'll color quite heavy once the, the butter separates. So we're just heating up the purple sprout and broccoli. Now, see, it's just fine. It's like you're sautéing off the vegetables. Yeah. Well, they, they, they've been blanched before, obviously, because of the time restraint on the program. Now, that purple sprouting broccoli, it was no, it, what, what would it look like raw? Is it purple or green? Purple. Purple. Yeah. But it goes green on the cooking. Yes. And you can see now when I add some butter to it, the foam and butter will help caramelize it. Okay. And that was a beautiful caramelization. So we're just going to start to assemble the dish now. We've got some of our nice raw fennel. Lovely. I'm also going to do a few nice leaves. I can just use the gremolata throughout the dish, you know, as a part of a vinaigrette. That sounds like a great thing to just have in the fridge and just Brilliant. use it for salads and anything, Super. whatever you need. Just make sure it's, it, it, it's covered in the fridge and there wouldn't be a problem. How long would it last, would you say? Uh, four days, three, yeah. four days, you know. And this is a, a healthy dish, you know. Nice broccoli there, high in vitamins, superfoods, some nice potatoes. Yeah. And I will just show you underneath the fish now. It's sea bass and oily fish. Yeah, and not, not as oily as salmon or whatever. No. You know, it wouldn't be a dry fish. So what we've got, you can see the butter's changing now. It's starting to caramelize. Okay, we'll bring it up a touch longer and then we'll turn it round. Um, I got a spoon. Are we ready to... Yep. To dress. Serve up this so fish. So great. And you said you blanched the potatoes as well before, and everything them. was cooked, yes, so you're yes. just... Yes, just reheating, basically. And giving them a so nice So you can see the, the sea bass now. It's all right, turn it. It's a nice caramelization. And that's, nice, that's almost cooked now. Yeah. So all I have to do is I'll just stand back a second. Touch of, uh, touch of lemon, and what will happen is the steam will come up, and that will finish that dish. Okay? And that is it, cooked. And what does the lemon do? Lemon, uh, once you put it in the oil, the steam will come up and so the steam will help cook up the underneath. Yep. So that should be a beautiful caramelization. And does it do anything for the flavour as well? Or is It'll it help you. Yeah. Well, lemon and fish is yeah. a classic, you know. And all you do is drizzle. That looks amazing. The gremolata around the fish. And we love the details of this on the website, everybody. There that we looks amazing. Do you know what? I'd much rather that on Valentine's Day at home than spending money on a bunch of flowers and going to <laughs> going to a restaurant and looking at everybody else. There you go. Okay, let me taste this really quickly. Mm. Now, what should I try? I'm going to try a bit of potato. Mm. What are you cooking later on, actually? We're going to do a uh, homemade pesto. Oh, so lovely. easy. Everybody seems to buy oh, the, 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 the tins. Everybody buys the yeah. tins, don't they? A couple of ingredients done simply, and this is something you keep in the fridge. It's Pine beautiful. nuts, isn't it? Pine That's nuts, the parmesan, main thing, yeah. parmesan, and oil, basil. That is delicious. Good. That is delicious, and the crispiness is actually nicer on the sea bass. It took five minutes. Oh, as long as you'd love this. Actually, you can yeah. even try it for the thing.